you sent up an SOS. Why? It's obvious the menace has baffled even you, Dr. Manta. If Planetorn is to survive, I think we'll have to look elsewhere for help. But way out there in space, who do you suppose will even notice your message? <laughs> Quick, give me a reading. Where did it come from? Wait, Robin. Don't try to investigate alone. Come back and... Friar, since when do we pass up a distress call? But you're all the way out near that green planet, Planeton, and low on fuel already. Planeton, eh? Thanks for the step. Robin, listen to reason. Forget it, Friar. I've got friends on that planet, and looks as if they need help. So, he's coming to help the planet on, is he? Yes, Igor. This meddling rocket Robin Hood seems determined to stop us before we finish our work. Your instructions, Dr. Manta. Finish him off, the usual way. Ah, the walking trees. Ooh. But first, let him see old King Planetut. Yes, let's get them both. Are the pets well fed? They walk tonight. Good. Soon this great planet will be mine alone. Well, what is it? Speak up, me boy. Spacecraft approaching, Your Worship. Spacecraft, is it? I, I knew it'd come. Quick, try the transmitter. Let's find out if it's who I think it is. This is Rocket Robin Hood calling King Planetot. Oh, Rocket Robin Hood, glory be, it is you. Sure now, you must have read our SOS. Yes, Your Majesty. Now tell me, what could be happening on that peaceful little planet of yours? Why, me boy, a menace has befallen since you were here. A great, dark, terrible menace that appears during the light of the full moon. Sound the stimulator. Unleash my menace. These things only began after that weird Dr. Manta came to this planet to conduct scientific research, says he. <laughs> Methinks he's involved in some mighty strange experiments there in those woods. Well, I think we better pay your strange Dr. Manta a visit. Strange, am I? Well, wait till you get into my woods, Rocket Robin Hood. Then you'll see something really strange. I was about to ask you the same question. Great giant dinosaurs! Beat! Don't fail me now! Robin! Low bridge. Get them. Destroy them. Get him. Drop that! Run, me boy! Boxed in! Yes, it looks as if Robin is out of running room. Unless something happens fast, our friends seem certain to fall into the clutches of Dr. Manta's monsters. A distress call leads Robin to the green planet Planeton, which is locked in the grip of a sinister menace. Robin and the king are ambushed as the slumbering trees come to life in the form of great giant dinosaurs. Hot 
hot spot. Let's make it hotter. Go! Oh. So, there is Dr. Manta's castle. Hmm, an imposing place. Imposing, is it? Huh. Oh, I'll bet it's full of ghosts. Shall we see? Right who? No ghosts, my little green king. But we'll have some surprises for you, to be sure. to the door, Igor. I'll welcome them to my parlor. Come. Enter. Friendly sword, isn't it? Gives me the creeps. Ah, oh, Your Majesty. What a pleasant surprise. We never get visitors here. I'd uh, like you to meet me friend, Rocket Robin Hood. Welcome to our troubled planet. I asked Robin here to deal with the menace, and already this morning, he's bested four of the ugly brutes. Four of them, you say? That's quite a feat. It's a shame you weren't here last night when that farm was attacked. Yes, isn't it? Doctor, can you explain how the trees in the surrounding forest attain such enormous size and weird shapes? I'm afraid I am responsible. You see, I was attracted to this planet by the great nitrolic energy in its soil. I was attempting to develop a super form of edible plant life, but my experiments ran afoul somewhere along the line. Was it really edible plant life you were after? Or did you actually set out to create an animal vegetable mutant that could change from a tree to a ferocious dinosaur? Why would I or anyone else want to do that? To destroy the planetons and take over the entire planet for yourself. Why do you accuse me? Only His Majesty, myself, and the victims knew of last night's attack on the farm. The only other person who could have known is the man who arranged it. You lie! It's all right, Igor. We need have no secrets from our friends now. Gentlemen, will you step outside? I've something to show you. Would you look at the size of them mushrooms? Quite a garden, Doctor. Please save your compliments. You've seen nothing yet. Great goggles! What is this? I just wanted to show you, Rocket Robin Hood, that your guesswork was amazingly accurate. Hmm, I wish I'd been wrong. You must see them perform. They behave just like robots. Precisely. Their antenna caused them to react instantly to the sound waves. Watch closely. Suppose that had been the wall surrounding Mound City. You're a demon. That's what you are, a demon. Remove your hands from His Majesty. Stay where you are, Rocket Robin Hood. As a matter of fact, stay exactly where you are. Many thanks for delivering King Planetut to me. With him in my possession, Mound City will open its gates before my Triceratops army without so much as an argument. I wouldn't be too sure of that. We shall see. As for you, I hope you won't become bored down there. I suggest you study the interesting floral display. <laughs> How long 
can Rocket Robin Hood continue to evade the deadly rays of the monstrous spider crab? Will he ever escape the web of the fiendish Dr. Manta? Trapped in a pit beneath the vicious Dr. Manta's castle, Rocket Robin Hood must first escape the clutches of the deadly spider crab before he can think of rescuing the doomed people of Planeton. See how you act with your receiver out of tune. Hmm, that's interesting. See what's going on at Mound City. City, surrender and be my slaves. You know from bitter experience, my monsters are indestructible. Should you resist, your puny efforts will be rewarded with a horrible end for you all, as well as an instant death for your king. Planetons, listen to me. Dr. Manta must be resisted. So with me dying breath, your king urges you to fight on! Ah! And hope for a miracle. What should we do? Surrender? We must save the king. But we can't! Look! Up there! It's Robin Hood! We're saved! Magnificent. No time to talk now. Where's your power station? It is over there. Have some men report to me at once. That wretched Robin Hood. He's made his last meddling move. Attack! Spare no one! Got it straight. When I give you the word, you give me full power. Don't worry. When I throw that switch on, you'll get plenty of juice, all right. Good. The monsters! Oh, the monsters are coming! All right, let them come. We'll give them a hot reception. Now, full power! 
feeling you've seen the last of Dr. Manta and his menace. He seems to be in such a terrible hurry. Now, do you think he didn't like our reception? I'd say he was shocked. 